Okay, to set up a square item for Lily's online store, we'll start at your square account dashboard. Click on online. Go to items, site items, and we will create new item. This will be an event rather than a physical item. We'll call it body code 2023. Already have a image lined up. Scroll down to the description. We'll just go ahead and grab one from an old workshop. Paste it in there. Where it says this item is tax exempt, you have to hover over it and do a check mark. We'll go ahead and put in a stock and we'll say 200. Of course it depends on what the venue is. Since it's an online workshop we will change it to online. We'll use Millie's just that as the event link. Choose the date and time. Make it a two day. Time zone is US. Now, to do the standard and VIP tickets, we'll add the options. And that option is already in there. You just click in there. It's the ticket type. And it's the standard ticket in the VIP. So we will apply those options. For the standard ticket, just put in the price. You have to start with the sale or the uh, early registration price. For For the SKU, just put in WS for workshop. We'll call this one Body Code 2023. And then for the VIP ticket, put in the price. The SKU is WS body code 2023 dash VIP and if you want to limit the number of VIP tickets as you've done in the past just click on this available stock hit track it'll say stock received and let's say you wanted to just sell 40 of the up the VIP tickets just update that and then go ahead and hit save. So now here it appears on the store with the graphic and the stock and the price range. So you click on that. Go to the three dots here, click once and just hit save and view. This will, tell, and this will show you what it's going to look like. It's not functional. You can't buy and sell at this point, but you can just check, make sure that everything's looking good, the graphic, dates, description. You can check and make sure that 
you can still choose between standard and VIP and then they change all right so that looks good you can close that close that and now what you do is you go here and you copy the item link go ahead and paste that into your open notepad and if you wanted to see it actually in the store you can open up a new tab paste it in there and this is actually in the store view so you can again make sure it looks fine make sure you got the selections you can actually go ahead and make a purchase and there it is go ahead and close that and shut this down and that's all there is to it